Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a hair tutorial. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Yvette and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, also that like button to join my Yvette XO squad. And if you guys are already part of my squad, then welcome back to my channel. Today's hair tutorial is going to be my beachy waves that I have been rocking on my Instagram. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been rocking this hairstyle a lot lately and it's completely opposite for me because you guys know i have always been team straight hair just because my hair is naturally straight so i always rock it straight because it's just so easy for me to style i know i'm lazy as fuck but honestly i feel like i finally have another style that i can use and it has helped me also so freaking much with my hair growth and me just not having to wash my hair for a couple of days because i can rock the curls and they'll stay with well, the waves stays and you won't even notice that i haven't washed my hair tmi but i will have a completely different video for you guys on my hair care routine because these waves have actually helped me out so much with my hair growth and you guys will know all about it in um, next week's video so that will be up for you guys next week so stay tuned for that but for today's video even though it's going to be a super simple hair tutorial i just feel like i finally finally found something that works for me that's super quick super easy and looks really good it's kind of like those you know beachy waves like i just woke up rolled out of bed bed head kind of style but you still look cute I don't know if that made any fucking sense, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, you know, like those girls that just have naturally pretty wavy hair and they just wake up, put a little bit of, you know, oils in their hair and then they go out and they're like, I'm bomb as fuck. That's what we're trying to achieve because unfortunately I have super silk straight hair and my hair just kind of puffs out and looks dry whenever I don't do anything to it. But the stool, the stools, the tools that we're going to be using, um, this is the Vanity Planet wand. You guys have seen me talk about it on my Snapchat and it heats up so bomb. It's honestly my go-to. I have both of them, the really small one and then I have the 1N25. I'll link my tools down below so it's easier for you guys to pick them up. I'll link my... Um, blow dryer that i use my straightener that i use and also this curling iron if you guys want to pick up any of the products they'll be down there below and then for my actual hair so it doesn't get all jacked up i don't like to use any oils because my hair is really thin and i don't know if it's just thickness or not thickness i don't even know i'm not i'm not a hairstylist guys okay so don't judge me but me personally my hair is so thin and it's so straight that if i don't wash it for like two three days you'll know my hair will look so greasy it will look so disgusting and that's probably why i was always in the habit of washing my hair like two three times a day but i don't want to talk too much about my hair care routine because it completely changed i'll have a completely separate video for you guys but i use the tech italy hair dimension and this is something that i just put in my hair when it's damped so as soon as i get out of the shower i let it air dry a little bit i'll add some cream in it and then if i'm gonna blow dry on top of it this protects it or i'll just sleep with it and it just keeps my hair you know protected for whenever i do wake up in the morning and straighten it or curl it or do whatever i decide to do and that is it that is all that i do on my hair if you guys honestly know of any type of heat protectant spray or anything like that that gives your hair more of a shiny appearance then let me know because i have one that works for me but that's just for straight hair but for my curls i like for them to be kind of like puffed up you know like i said we're going for the i just rolled out of bed and i look cute here but let me stop talking and let's go straight into this tutorial so this is the natural texture of my hair as you guys can see my hair is pretty straight i can you know let my hair air dry and go straight to the store or whatever because my hair is pretty 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 straight um, it looks a little frizzy and that's honestly why I strain over it because I do have a bit of a frizz to it and say it's like really hot and humid outside my hair will kind of start to wave um, but for the most part my hair is pretty and the curling iron that I'm going to be using is the one by Vanity Planet and I'm going to show you guys just the simple way for you guys to wave your hair obviously if your hair is not straight like mine um, you could go through it with a straightener completely up to you just so you guys can get like that 
you know, beachy style wave. My hair texture is already straight, so that's why I didn't have to go in with the straightener. But I would recommend if your hair has even a little bit of a curl, if it's wavy, you'll still be able to pull it off and just straighten the tips. But if your hair is curly, I would probably straighten it like the day before and then try these waves the next day. Louis chilling next to me. So we're going to grab probably about an inch of hair. And the trick, obviously, is you're going to use this as a regular wand. But the trick is to only leave it for about 10 seconds and leave about an inch of the tip off. And just kind of let it fall. And you're going to get somewhat of a curl. And then you're going to kind of go through it with your fingers and straighten it out. You're gonna grab about an inch of hair. I do my hair so fast because I actually have a little bit of hair. We're gonna curl. Louie. And then we're going to release. And as you guys can see, that wave is kind of coming through. So you're gonna do this to your whole head. Obviously, you guys are gonna probably take a little longer than I do because I have tres pelos. But you're going to do this to your whole head. Okay, so like you guys can see, I already did the bottom of my hair. Once I get towards the top, this is where we're going to see the natural waves start coming in. And we're going to grab smaller pieces of hair. So maybe like half an inch of hair. Curl, curl, curl. And because it is less hair, you're going to leave it for less time. And then you're just going to let it drop. You're going to do your whole top of your head with little tiny um, waves. But don't leave it in too long, guys. That's where I was making my mistake because I was leaving the curler on the hair for way too long. So see, literally tiny little pieces and just curl, curl, curl. And for your whole hair, you're going to leave that bottom piece. So not towards the front of your face. The, completely up to you how you want to frame it. If you want it to start the, from the curl all the way to the top or if you want it to just kind of bounce. Um, for today, I'm going to actually let the curl start pretty high up. Usually, I started a little bit lower, but I saw that it wasn't lasting as long. So, I'm going to start from the top. Just like that seam. So, obviously, the trick is to, you know, just run your fingers through your hair. And this will create those waves for you. Do you see how pretty that looks? So now I'm going to do the rest of my hair. I'm not really going to be explaining much since I already showed you guys how to do this side. I'm just going to let you guys see how I finish it off. But I was on Twitter yesterday and I was letting everybody know that I want to cut my hair. I'm going to do a whole hair care routine for you guys. But... I've been wanting to cut my hair and I'm, I don't know it makes me kind of sad because I feel like my hair is honestly everything to me like I love my hair and I know a lot of people are probably going to be like it's just hair a little girl back but do you guys know how long it would take for me to grow out my hair again probably like two years if I was to cut it but I don't know I feel like I want something different I feel like I'm tired of looking like myself <laughs> not even like myself but I'm tired of like just the long black hair, I feel like it's just so simple and um, I've had it for so long, literally since I was probably in the 6th, 7th grade I want to say um, is when I started styling it and having it really long. So I feel like this has been me since I was in the 7th grade. In the 7th grade, people knew me as the girl with the long black hair. How sad is that? A lot of people give me kind of like, you know, mixed answers like, yeah do it or no don't do it um but i don't know 
let me know what you guys think guys in the comments below i did order some front lace wigs but guys front lace wigs are so freaking expensive i paid so much money for a freaking front lace wig but i got me one i got me a little bob i'm gonna try to get it installed and based on how it looks if i honestly really 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 like it i'll probably end up cutting my hair but i don't know yet i feel like i really need to, i can start doing like the wigs but honestly i i'd rather it be like my hair you know because i don't want to just rock the hair whenever i go out or something like i actually want my hair to be whatever color i decide to style it or dye it What's crazy though is if any of you guys are hairstylists, um, a lot of people won't touch my hair. They actually have told me like, girl, it is going to be impossible for you to even lighten up your hair, ever go blonde or anything like that because I have about 15 years of hair dye in my hair of like black over black over black over black over black. And a lot of stylists that I have reached out to they're like, you are never going to go blonde, like, ever in your entire life. I even told Lisa's, because, you know, Lisa's has always been a huge, like, fan of my long black hair. He loves the black hair. But I was telling him, I was like, I don't know, I feel like I need something different. And, you know, he was even agreeing with me. He was like, he's like, you should maybe try something different. And for him to say you should try something different, I'm like, okay, maybe he's getting tired of my face, too. He's getting tired of my basic-ass fucking black hair. But then I also think about it, and I'm like... I'm sure a lot of girls would love to have, you know, my long black hair. Like, I feel like it's me, you know? Like, who would I be without black hair? <laughs> the freaking struggle, I swear, guys. Like, I've really thought about this over and over again. But I'm going to let you guys obviously see me with my, lump, my front lace wig once I do get it. And you guys can let me know what you guys think. Because I've never liked the short hair because my face is round. I have a really round face. So I always thought that if I had really short hair, I would just look like Dora the Explorer. So I didn't want to look like Dora the Explorer. <laughs> I'm also going to have an updated hair care routine before I cut my hair. So you guys can... know exactly what i've been doing to get my hair to look the way that it has because honestly i'm not trying to toot my own horn but toot motherfucking toot because my hair has been feeling so freaking good i feel like this is probably the best my hair has ever looked honestly and i'm just hoping that i don't have too much postpartum hair loss because I'll probably cry. Let's see, we just wave our, we just run our fingers through. And of course you can go through like any of the, of the little pieces that you feel like are too flat and redo it. I won't be adding anything to my hair like I mentioned to you guys. I'm not going to add any hairspray. I'm not going to add any oils or anything like this. Because usually when I curl my hair in my new hair care routine, you guys will see. But I don't wash my hair every day anymore. For the first couple of days, we're obviously trying to avoid any type of oils in my hair. Because I don't want it to look like I haven't showered in five freaking years. But look how pretty these waves look. I've totally totally been freaking loving the curls but this is going to be the end of today's tutorial i hope you guys all enjoyed it don't forget to tag me in your guys' pictures if you guys try out these waves and if you start rocking them if you guys already rock them and you guys already have been on top of this before i even hopped on this shit then thank you guys for letting me know <laughs> I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on my next one. Love you guys. If I didn't smell so good, would you still hug me? If I got locked up and sent this to a quarter